hi gemini welcome to my channel gemini i hope you are doing well i hope you are fine and safe and doing good this reading for today gemini this is a love reading this is a love message for the gemini sign let us see what is your love reading let's see what's your love message thank you so much gemini for supporting the channel thank you so much gemini for being here if you would like to further connect with me, gemini please click the bell click subscribe let us see what's coming towards you what is your guided love reading love message okay let's see who is thinking of you what they feel towards you i'm also going to be connecting uh with you gemini this is an open message think about your person think about your situation let's look into the person that you have in your mind and also the person that's thinking about you the person that the person that has a lot of romantic energy towards you okay this is for the gemini sign oh wow you have the tower card let's look at the background story let's do a you versus them let's look into the current energies and then let's draw some cards and let's see the future of your connection if i pick up a new love interest i will let you know you have a five of wands you have a two of swords you have a nine of swords you have the emperor card and so we start your reading so the person that is on your mind and it's also responding to your manifestation or at some degree they have a romantic energy towards you there's a tower card it's possible gemini that you met this person when they have just separated or broken up with somebody it feels like maybe this is maybe this is a um like a rebound it could also be like an ex maybe there's a lot of on and off between the two of you you have a child you were previously married to this person you had a long-term commitment with this person or they just gotten out of a long-term commitment the ace of swords i feel like gemini they have good energy towards you but because they just gotten out of a relationship or like the the sun card is in here like there's something there's something so obvious about this person in the past you are the seven of swords it could be that you are quite in a hurry to be in a relationship with them i feel like straightforward straight off the bat there's a miss misalignment between the two of you gemini this um because there's a bit of control on you with the seven of swords you're the will of fortune i think you met this person and you're just ready to fall in love share your life like the seven of swords you met them and you met them and you want to spend lots of time with them you always want to be with them you want to talk to them like you want to date you want to spend time with them because you like them okay maybe there was a bit of control coming from you um it's kind of mismatched especially you have the strength card in here because you're ready for everything about love and dating and getting to know and relationship this person completely opposite they want to take things slow so they might have start with you and then they kind of disappear like maybe there was something hot you know crazy and then this person suddenly they they gave you crumbs or it fizzled out okay but it's not about you it's just about them like they wouldn't they couldn't match your energy gemini you're six of one you gave them all of the like you gave them the right feelings like you gave them the in like you in your like your love like your indicator is like i want a relationship you know like they know that like you're all you've shown them that i want a relationship and they know that and they felt that but they're not ready for that okay 
it's too soon for them to be in a relationship or they want to have a, they have some fun dating but they're kind of selfish to be in a like they're ser- like th- this person is selfish to share themselves to a commitment they're only committed to their dreams ambition to their life they're not ready to fully commit okay yeah two of wands you are ready you were all but ready when um i think you have not forgotten this person or they haven't really forgotten you too i don't know what you said for some of you guys you might have said something and i think you might have i don't know maybe the last time you talked with this person wasn't wasn't good um because this like these are like fighting cards you know right now right now in the current energies like this is this is them fighting cards the fighting energy combative five of ones also very combative so but the thing is what's connecting you is the two of cups so you like each other but you guys are still fighting together and that is connected in the past i feel like right now right now this person is more available versus in the past yeah i feel like this person they were able to recover i feel like right now this person they can give you a cup right now this person that is on your mind and they're also responding to your manifestation maybe you have a quarrel right now maybe you have an argument maybe you have a miscommunication right now you're not into talking but you know i'm seeing the yellow i'm seeing the road this person right now compared to the past energy they're more available they're more let's see if i can commit but the thing is there is an existing argument or animosity between the two of you that it's unresolved and it's preventing you guys to exchange cups in here because five of ones you're single you're single ready to mingle but you have an issue with them right now this person is single no competition with this person they can give you the cup but you guys have some unresolved issues in the past or it's possible that you guys are not talking right now yeah there's so much there's so much potential between you and this person but there's also so much argument it's like i like you but there's also a lot of dislike energy the amount of i like you and i don't want to talk to you it's equal because in order for you guys to activate the two of cups to exchange in order for you guys to have a two of cups is you have to exchange message or you have to solve the argument or the animosity because you're you're still up until this point compatible with them in the immediate future if you guys do not talk if you guys don't settle because you have issue and they also have issue with you you guys both have something against each other you know like there's something you're against them and they're also so, they have something against you but you still like to try but none of you would like to step forward um this might go on for a bit cuz you got the two of swords so this could like this whole love situation could be stuck or it could it's possible gemini that this would remain unfinished business cuz there's a two of swords there's a nine of swords in here if none of you would reach out to talk about the past and clear the air then it would lead to an emperor which is like ego is going to win because you already have an emperor in here um i think there is power trip and ego it's because you have like i'm like it's it's a vibe gemini right now it's a vibe where i'm angry with you so the the love is underneath you know like 
they, they wouldn't call you because they're upset and you wouldn't call them because you're upset. So for as long as there's this low frequency, low vibe between the two of you, love wouldn't resurface. The two of cups will always be covered by those argument and, you know, cause you have like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't reach out. I mean, you have the emperor in here. Like I wouldn't reach out. I wouldn't because I'm upset. And this person I'm upset too. I wouldn't reach out. But do I like you? Yep. Do I think about you? Yep. You too. So you guys have, um, you guys are still dealing with both the hurt and the pain, or it could be like a disappointment you caused to one another. None of you guys would like to remove. None of you guys would like to be vulnerable. It could still, the angst is so here. Yeah, but you guys desire each other. There's so much desire in here. Like, it's just like a love and hate relationship. Yeah. I think right now, right now, you and this person, you guys are cultivating the low vibe that I don't like you right now. I don't want to talk to you right now. I don't want to call you. You guys are both cultivating that. And in this reading, love is not winning. Love is underneath. Yeah. I think this is something that you guys need to learn the lesson with spiritual maturity. I think you guys need to go through this separation in order for you and this person to realize how much you mean to each other. Because I don't think you're going to stay forever disliking this person you will you would move on you're a happy sign gemini you are such a vibrant and happy sign you're generally happy so maybe right now you're mad you're angry you're upset you're disappointed that you wouldn't reach out but i don't think you're gonna stay an emperor and be mad at this person for a long time i don't think so because generally you're healthy and happy you know this person too I don't think this person would stay mad at you for a very long time but right now it's obviously like you guys are holding on to something low vibe against each other both of you and this is something that you have to learn to understand why are you why are you against each other why why are you choosing to be against each other one day you both are going to wake up and you realize that going against each other is just going to make it difficult for both of you because you you will start to miss each other. It's like, I don't like you right now. Tomorrow, I don't like you. The next day, I'm starting to miss you. Then the next day, oh, I miss you now. And the next day, I miss you so much. And then the next day, now I cannot help it. I better call you now. So day by day, the spiritual feelings of love and care, it's going to start to come, okay? So only a, right now it's strong. It's like, no, look at that. But over the period of time, you guys are both nice person. I don't think you're going to be forever disliking each other. This is a spiritual maturity. You guys are bound to learn what you're doing against each other. And realizing that no one is gonna win only ego okay so this is something spiritual and this is what I have for you thank you so much they're watching you this person is watching you you know they can feel you too so if you're angry at them they can they can feel that and you can feel that you can feel them you, you can definitely connect with this person energetically right now you can say yep Yep, I know, they're still mad at me. You know, you can feel that, yep, they're still mad at me, sunshine. Every day you think of them, you would feel it. Okay, right now it's less angrier versus yesterday. You'd feel it. They're watching you. You guys are watching each other. You guys are daydreaming of each other. You guys are daydreaming of the day you're going to meet each other again. There's so much. The, so, the journey is not over. The journey is going through some sort of um, learning in here. Thank you, Gemini. I will see you soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.